Okay, really quick, wanted to show how I set up my channels on an intraday basis. So today, SPY opened up here above 120. So right away, this low is going to become my support. We gapped higher. So I was bearish coming into today. So I'm going to wait on a breakdown below this low. And then I'm going to be able to start getting some channels formed. So at first in the day, when the day first started, imagine that those three lines aren't there. All I had was this one line right here because that was my low. So then what happens as we broke below this low, I'm watching to see where the first bounce happens. And where that happened was right here at 11.42 off of 119.82. It bounced back up above 120. So my next channel then is going to go right here at this 119 low okay because that's where the first bounce happened that's where that's my next level of support that I'm watching so then as we broke down below this level I'm watching again to see the next low and the next bounce and what goes on there and you can see the the breakdown below 119.82 brought it down to 119.63 and 119.59 before then once again bouncing back up towards 120 so I'm then gonna put my next channel right at that next low it's just simply finding the finding the low Finding the first low that you bounce off of, and that's your support. And what's interesting here is you can see after we broke below this very first channel line here, notice where this bounce topped out at. Right at that same level we identified the first five minutes of the trading day. And then look here. Look what happens again. After we broke below this support channel line, Look what happens on this bounce. Look where it tops out, right at that same support line. So then, once again, here's my next bounce. We traded all the way down after this breakdown out of the channel. We traded all the way down to 119.22, and then we got a nice bounce. So that low then becomes another support channel. And now I've identified some channels to trade with and help me make better decisions because I can identify support and resistance. And once again, look where this rally topped out at, right at that trend line that was already there before any of this price action happened. So it's no coincidence. It's because when you're breaking below support, the people who don't sell they will then sell on the bounce up to that previous level. So now look what we have going on here. We're getting another bounce towards 119.60. The previous level, the previous support level is exactly where we're starting to bounce away, uh, bounce towards. And so now based on that reversal as it approaches this trend line, I can then shape my option strategy around that. I'm looking at the 119s here going for 92 cents and as SPY approaches that level if it starts to churn out just like it did up here and just like it did up here I can then get short and purchase those puts. So just like we had those bounces here We've just had another bounce off the 119.10 level. So I'm going to then take my new trend line and I'm putting it right there at 119.10 and so on and so forth. This is a very important concept to understand. You don't need 
days or weeks or months worth of support and resistance to figure out where those levels are. You can start identifying support and resistance as soon as the trading day gets started. And then after you have breakdowns and bounces, you simply move the channel line down to where the breakdown occurred and you monitor to see is it able to break back above it. As you can see, SPY has not been able to break back above this 119.80 level with any real conviction. So until it does that, my bias will be to the downside.